This is a HeadGum Podcast. And here we are, Jay. We're back. We're back. We're in it. America's number one podcast. Don't look it up. We have a does. special guest right here, Caitlin. Yes. Our social media Guru. director. Guru. What title do you want? Guru or director? Director? Come on, you came in here with something. I didn't want it off air, so do it on yeah. air, young lady. Like Jake says, everything's content. Jake loves- I love content, man. I'm a content maniac. You get, you get on camera, young lady. Don't worry about Kevin's. Yeah. Don't Santa off camera. Right next to the Garf, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, come so here. So you can sit on camera, sit with? on camera, get behind a mic. Let's see what happens. Thank you. Okay. What I love is it's glitter, and so glitter's first, the gift that keeps on giving. First, Caitlin, what is the backstory of these? You started saying it off camera, and I interrupt you. You're right in the mic. Um, oh, um, last time I went, one of the first time we came into the recording studio, I had ordered Christmas presents and yeah, they came sweetheart. right as I got back. <laughs> so I was like, great, great. I'd asked you for the P.O. box that one time and you oh, were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, how do I say it without them? Like, knowing? interesting. So these are cat socks you got. Me. <laughs> now, are these are for me? Yes. Okay. I, Who did you think they were for? Well, no, I just uh, want to make sure. I think I got soap. No, no, they're not soap. <laughs> and they're both presents track. What is this? They are um Oh tooth fairy. You are a very uh, baby tooth. <laughs> you got cat socks. Yeah. I got tooth fairy. I box call these cocks. Teeth. Uh you call those cocks? Yeah, cat socks. It's conflation. Go I ahead. wouldn't call them cocks. It makes sense. Uh what do you got there? I got tooth, tooth fairy. I, well, first of all, I'm covered. I look like I was at a stripper's office. Yeah. <laughs> at a stripper's office. Here's where we make well, the decision. I don't go to the club. <laughs> I'm a businessman. <laughs> the champagne room's okay. the office. Uh Caitlin. Thank you very much. Kayla, thank you very much. I got a tooth necklace. Yes. No twins. Uh, you got a necklace? Tooth necklace. Oh, you got a tooth necklace. We're like all the on one brand. You're... Yeah. And this episode, we have a really fun one. We have the great Jillian Bell. Jillian Bell, One who of is the funniest human beings on planet Earth. Truly uh, just the funniest. I met her when I wrote on a show called Idiot Sitter with her and for her. And was immediately. And who like, else was on that wonderful show? Jake Johnson. Had no, I met Charlotte. <laughs> oh, Charlotte! You were on it too, though. Yeah, but so was Steve. But it was Charlotte. And it was said, yes. Charlotte and Jillian, uh, Comedy Central show, two seasons. But Jillian was both truly hilarious. People like both hilarious. Charlotte Newhouse is uh, yeah. hysterical. We're gonna have Charlotte on. We should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, but Jillian truly like just the funniest, Killer. the greatest. She's very She's helpful shocking. today. Very so helpful. funny on this She's show. very helpful. So check out GarethReynolds.com. You'll get all his tour dates on the YouTube. They'll probably put up all the stuff yeah, here. Yeah, go click that. And uh, hurry. And let's just say follow her at Jillian Bell on Instagram. Yes. Uh, she, um, she's a great she's always doing a tremendous amount of stuff. Uh, yeah. she. You know, if you don't know her, when you see the YouTube, you'll know her. You'll love her. She's the best. And she's kind of in everything. She's one of those yes. people where you're like, oh, her. She's incredible. She's just the best. Uh, Can't say enough good about so, her. Thank you to you. Thank you to you. Thank you to the great Jillian Bell. Thank, thank you, you, to, to you Thank you to you. Thank you to you. And thank you to the beautiful Lamorne Morris. <laughs> Our new uh, wall art. Uh, so we decided to classes join up and just add a little fucking sexy. Yeah. It? We have. It's hard to focus. Yeah. So, but, uh, so to Lamorne, we love you. Love you, man. <laughs> Without love further you, ado. <laughs> it's like he's passed. <laughs> 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 All right, hello. There's two callers for this one. Hello. Two callers. Oh, my goodness. Garfman, you're oh, you in charge. you guys have notebooks. Hello. Yeah, you can use that if you like. Hello, oh, how you are you? You don't need it. I might. You might have a couple names. Good. Two callers. We just found out there's two callers, and two callers, I've got news for you. There's going to be five people on this call, because not only do you have Jacoby Johnson and Gareth <laughs> Reynolds, you also have one of our dearest friends uh, in the business. Wow. I, uh, a woman who I do adore and have adored you since the beginning, Jillian. Uh, the fantastic, the talented, the hilarious Jillian Bell is joining us You don't in get studio. much funnier than this one. No, you don't. You it's really true. don't. And nicer. Jillian yeah. is rare. Who cares about the nicer? She's a killer. I All say. right. She's Jacobi. a killer on set. All right, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Um, Me too. Okay, so can we, uh, why don't we start with uh, your names? Let's start there, since there's two of you. Sure. You uh, go my first. My name is Claire. Claire, okay. Claire, great name. And uh, the other one, the non-Claire? And my name is Jenna. Jenna and Jenna. Claire. Okay, and uh, what rough age are we approximating for you two? Your mean average will do. Uh, I am 33, Claire, and I'm 26. 
All right, so Claire and Jenna, 33 and 26, back to you. You where, guys are the star of the where, show. Where are you guys calling from? Are you in the same place, city? Uh, no, I am in Denver, Colorado, okay. and Jenna is in Minnesota. Okay. All right, Claire and Jenna, who's the talker out of the two of you? Who's going to be driving this train? I'm going to be the talker. Claire is. Claire, okay. so will you Jenna's walk us through, take over, the floor is yours. Why are you calling today? Well, a um, little bit of a backstory. So Jenna and I are both curlers. Wow. You guys know what curling is? Of course. Yeah, we do the best sport in the Olympics. Yeah, the shuffle thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And just like you said, right when I said, you know what curling is, you were like, yeah, in the Olympics, right? Yep. yep. So people only care about curling when it's in the Olympics. Yeah, and whoever said that's an asshole. And in recent years, pickleball has become like a millionaire dollar sport. Yeah. And you have ESPN covering things like bags. Oh, yeah. Like, like I know I what you're talking bowling. about. Uh, the cornhole. Yeah. That got really popular yeah, during the yeah. pandemic and I hated it. Yeah. Wait, do some people call it bags? Apparently. I've never heard it called bags. That's I, a, I think that's a Minnesota thing, actually. Oh, I, hey, I think you, you want to go out back and play bags? You want to play bags? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel like a quick round of bags. <laughs> you guys look. Hey, wh- quit yapping. Let's go play bags. We want to play with the pickles or the bags. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yes, they've you ever gotten a lot, bag? Yes. a lot of hype. Yeah, a lot, a lot of hype. So pickleball and bags are popular, and curling is not. Continue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so basically, we need some help to get fans because it is uh, it's national season right now. Oh, where the are you guys men's playing? Men's and women's national. Um, it's well, you're gonna love this. Okay. It is going to be in New Jersey. Okay, why well, do we love the American? <laughs> so I thought you were gonna American say LA. Oh, the American what? No, <laughs> uh, we're gonna be having our nationals in a mall in in a week. That's oh, cool okay. as hell, dude. That's great. I love a mall. But by the way, a, so like I love a, a, curling a, in so a like mall. a mall ice rink. Yeah. Right, like first yes. floor zone or something like that. Or is did that they what we're build it about? for this, or is it like off the mall? Yeah, and like so, a... so there's an ice rink right in the middle of the mall. Fun. It's called the Rink at American Dream, and it's located. Ah, in I've Rutherford, done stand up at that mall. What? Yeah. Wait, where is it? Rutherford. Uh, East Rutherford, New Jersey. I was just yeah. there. Wow. That's beautiful. So this is pretty cool. Well, if you want to come back to watch curling, we'll be there. So, well. so this is actually pretty cool. So doing it at a mall, I'll tell you why it's not as popular as pickleball. Mm. Uh, and this is not against curling. Pickleball is easy. You get one little racket. You go to a court that everyone plays tennis. It's warm. You run around. Old people can do it. You can't do curling unless you're a curler. Well, yeah, exactly. You right. can't There's be more. like, you know what? A few of my friends and I want to go curling. If somebody invites me, I'm saying no. Do I want to stand on ice, not in skates, and do that weird like mopping the thing? The, the shuffle. The broom, yeah. yeah. Like, the broom that guy. doesn't sound like I'm getting great we should, exercise. We should know some of the terms. I guess we could That's ask called you the, guys. I, I don't know much, but that right. position so is called the so ice janitor. As a way to make this <laughs> sport know. more popular... CJ, that's combining Claire and Jenna, obviously. Nice. Mm. Um, CJ can, and NJ, because they're going to New Jersey. Yes. Agreed. Can Thanks. you Ooh. can you Ooh. describe the rules as if you're pitching it to children? Because mm. I, the one thing that I'll yeah. say, one of the reasons it's not popular is I don't get it. Oh, I love it. You, I love I, it too, but I do because love it, but I don't know what's happening. Neither. I love it because they push the ball. A bunch of weirdos with brooms going this, and then every once in a while they go like, yeah, <laughs> and you go like this. Did they do good at the yeah, yeah, yeah? You go, the team in red did better. <laughs> what happened? It got near the red dot. How many points do you get? I, I think, don't know. I well, think I will say it's not a ball. It doesn't seem like a ball. It seems like a Roomba. Yes, you push the broom. The, with a, the broom person is a, that's a stressful role right. too. Oh my gosh, they should have called it Broomba. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so geez. there we start. All right, that's a okay, great so that's start to first, popularity. This is our first. Our first note, <laughs> note will be we all, that June, position is Broomba. We all wrote Broomba, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Broomba's <laughs> written down for Broomba sure. Broomba has a... So, CJ, uh, will you walk us through the <laughs> rules of your game? Great start, by yeah, the way, I would, from I would love Broomba. Yeah. You, guys, you guys basically nailed it. Okay. 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 Nobody knows what's happening. Agreed. Okay. So... Curling is, so it was a sport, I'm going way back, sport invented by Scotsman, oh, drunk Scotsman. A rock and ice. In the middle of winter. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it navigated over to Canada, where it's 
cute. What, what years um, are we US? in here? What Just years are we 85, in? 85, 89. Yeah. Oh, geez. I, I, I didn't do bags. enough research for that okay, one. I, got you. I don't so, know. So but it was in the Olympics in 1998. Yeah, that's what I'm oh, saying. This is new stuff. So when you is say Scotland, new? we're all thinking like 1780. Oh, I'm thinking like William talk- Wallace is like, yeah, no. my turn with the rule. She's talking in 1984, yeah. a couple of Scots. Just a couple of weird Scotsmen. Hey, yeah. I got a tattoo for it. Whoa. Right Jillian's before the show, because I knew. Cool. Because I knew. That was great. Um, Good call. So... It starts there. I'm just trying to understand. So we still got to get to the pitch. So it goes to Canada. Uh, CJ, what are the rules of this weird game? And what are the terms? So the rules of the game are basically you have two giant targets on either end of a sheet of ice. Okay. And there's four people on a team. Okay. You want to make sure that each player gets to throw two of the rocks or two stones. Oh, it's called a stone because of Scotland. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so everybody throws two stones and then at the end of an end where, or I like it, like an inning, if you're thinking of, you know, the end of an end or the end of an inning in baseball indicates all of the rocks have been thrown. The closest person to the target would get the points, kind of like bocce ball scoring. Yeah, right. Oh, so you're trying to, so it's, you get one point around or the amount of rocks near the center get the most points. The rocks exactly. cancel the rocks out. Rocks closest. So it's, yep. Oh, okay. so the so, rocks closest. So score. an inning. What are those called? Not innings, but ends. ends. You call them. Ends. So a typical E-N-D-S. a yep. typical score after an end could be like two to one. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, can you yeah. knock somebody else's rock off? E- easy, but yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. What is the sweepers disqual- will help with that? A sleeper. Throw it really hard. Oh, a sweeper. Sweepers. So yeah. what is the name of the person who first pushes the rock? Um, that would be, I guess, the gonna help me out here. Maybe just like the delivery, the lead person. Well, yeah. now it's called but, the but, rock star, the lead person. Okay, but is that well, okay. so it's usually called rock star? Thrower. So you got a thrower <laughs> who pushes the rock. The sweepers do that weird motion, and you're trying to get to the middle or knock the other people out. Who is the most important person? Is it the lead sweeper? Is it the thrower? Is it the back? Like if you're saying tug of war, who's your best person? Your strongest is in the back. Mm-hmm. Your craftiest is in the front. Somewhere in the middle, you're just not great at tug of war. Right? Yeah, you hide so, the weak well, ones. So where is player, the stra- what is I the strategy? All roles are important. All roles oh, are important. Okay, yeah, but so there's but, not a vibe. But if there's <laughs> not a hierarchy, you don't have a goddamn game. Every role well, in the basketball. Person hold throwing on. The rock, but every probably. every well, you don't know that. Every role in basketball is important until you got Michael Jordan. Then the shooting guard's <laughs> the most important. So who determines how you're going to really win? Is it kind of luck? Is it one great? If you have like, who's like the Wayne Gretzky of sweeping? Also, what well, in ooh. curling, you have somebody who's standing at the far end calling each shot. Ah, the shot and caller. they're kind of the strategy behind the game. Ah, okay. so there's your quarterback. The sure. So that person stands That's at the mark and goes like, left, left, yeah. right, right. Now that person. And they also yell a lot. It's okay, how, so that's, that's what Jake was doing. You should have seen okay. his face. So that person's really important, not only to the game, mm-hmm. but to how we're going to market this thing. But I, listen, my Please. middle name is not sports. It's no. Lee. And I will say that Thank I'm you. getting lost. And, okay. And I'm writing everything down. But everything. I, I do feel like if we can put it into some kind of a kid song, we can win the world. That's really? what I think. That's your instinct. Yeah. I got to tell you, my middle name is not Einstein, but that's the weirdest pitch I've ever heard. <laughs> not Lee either. Picture it, though, if it's a catchy yeah. kid song. Can you give me a taste <laughs> off yeah. the jack? Well, it's it's to the song, well, I don't. is it Cool Whip? <laughs> yeah, yeah, might be. We so know it's it. Broomba. Broomba. I don't know the rest of the tune for, <laughs> That's okay. for Cool That's Whip. That's a great start. But, but, keep but, running. Keep running. But it's, you know, it's the Broomba, Broomba thing twice. Dun, 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 dun. Broomba. Dun, 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 dun. A drunk Scotsman, he went to Canada. Two targets on ends of ice. Two rocks slash stones are thrown. End of an end indicates rock stones. Amount of rocks <laughs> closest gets a point. Sweepers and throwers, they rotate. But there's no VIP unless you're thinking of the cold. Quarterback, who's the shot caller? <laughs> oh my God! Okay, I was wrong. 
It's, so, it's kind of catchy. It's like, imagine, imagine learning the lyrics. You'd be like, that oh, this be is so, fun. If that got out, that's the Super Bowl shuffle if you get that out. Yeah. That's great. And hopefully, <laughs> when, is the, when is this happening again? When yeah, are you guys are going dates? to the Jersey yeah. Mall? January 29th through February 4th. Oh, so soon. Because okay. I was hoping someone could listen January to this and 29th. maybe record a song or a <laughs> oh, version so of it. Oh, so then it could go, January 29th, Broomba, and it rotate. Broomba. Broomba. Fuck. Fuck is a great lyric for the mall. Well, because then it goes, Wait, January 29th, Broomba. Broomba. Fuck pickleball. Fuck bags. That's great. Well, there's a long list. We can do. Yeah. Claire's 33. She's in Denver. And Jettle's 26. Living in Minnesota. The curl has been only one of them. Is curly hair. Go and see them play. January 29th. Broom. Broom. What do you girl? What do you ladies think of that hit? I mean, that was something. I don't. I don't want to say you totally nailed it, but yeah, yeah. I think we left out a very, very important detail. Talk to us. What is that? Um, we got bogged down in the rules of curling, and we didn't mention that one of the best parts of curling is something called broom stacking, okay. which What's is broom stacking? basically you just the winner of the game buys the first round of beers, Ooh. and you just hang out and drink a whole bunch wow. of beer. Oh, so it is a party Ooh. game. So the the losers 100%. buy the beer. No, the winners do. Oh, oh well, this is a fundamental round. issue with your sport. Um, so here, here's what I say you do. I say let's not worry about national attention. Let's not worry about pickleball. Let's worry about Jan 29, right? Mm. You, you don't win. You don't build Rome in a day. Was what we were talking about earlier. You probably got pretty far, in but it wasn't built. So in a what day. we're looking to do is get pretty far in a day. Yeah, because people always say you don't build it in a day, but you can get a lot of impressive work done. Absolutely. In a day. That's true. So January 29th is the first day of building Rome, and here's how I think you do it. Each team has their main shot caller, correct? Mm-hmm. Start talking shit, <gasps> and put that person. Think of the WWE. That's and so. I, Exactly. And I want the shot callers to have big characters, costumes. I want them to have a megaphone to talk to the crowd so that you go like, hey, everybody going to Sapporo's Pizza. Get a slice and watch what my thrower is about to do with this pepperoni rock. And those people are the shot callers of excitement. And then you go, look at my sweeper sweep. And then you go to the right. And then you go like, look at Maggie's legs. Oh, look at I, Maggie's I, legs. <laughs> I think I You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I was Wait, going on. Oh, Jillian, what happened? You just lost me on Maggie's legs, but I love well, it. But like well, Maggie's got like really strong shit. legs. Yeah. Maggie's got strong legs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, look at Maggie's like, legs. Like, hey everybody, hey, hey, hey. You're walking into lids to get yourself a cap. Why don't yeah. you walk over to this lid and watch Maggie's legs? And then Maggie sweeps and does like a yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you are you also go, you're going in the gap? Yeah. No, go and check out the this. lack of Maggie's gap in between her legs <laughs> yeah. because they're so massive. Yes, it's exactly right. Look it's, at the gap between the rock and the red on this because of Maggie's leg. Yes, yeah, so you're pushing that, yeah. but you're also, the <laughs> other person is pushing the other team. So they're going like, you call that a throw? I think <laughs> this is good. I think you do need to step up. That, that was going to be my pitch. Step up the theatrics. Even if you're on the same team, you could kind this might be too crazy, but why not have one team be the U.S.? And even if the other team is also from America, mm. fake Russia. Let's make them Russians. Yeah. Okay. And and let's You're just right. now I, now we're we talking did have 1984 shit. tatted yeah. on our hand. So That's now, what sparked all so this. So now you've got the, the, the bad guys. You got the, the good bad guys. guys. Okay. And you're, so you yeah. now you're really stoking patriotism or, in Garrett, the mall. Hold on, because the, both team, neither team's going to want to be Russia, but one of the teams for the good of the sport. One of the teams might be willing to be villains. Well, okay, yes. Well, they need to be. How, so, how, is this just one day you're doing this? Yes. No, it's several days, right? Oh, it's all week. Well, you guys could all swap week. roles. Yeah, but also, every other day, CJ, the other could be Russian. CJ, how many different teams are competing? And are you guys all part of an email chain, a website? Is there a mm. Instagram, a Twitter? Are you guys connected? So I would say yes, we are connected. Curling is a very how many small teams? community. There's eight men's teams and eight women's teams. Okay. okay. I, this is, yeah. I think you're right, Jake. I would send out the email saying that you want each team 
to kind of come up with costumes? a costumed theme. Yes, a team like name. Like the Warriors. I do yes. like this. I do and like this. the Curling music. Furies and music. Ooh. And now we're going to step up the theatrics of it. So the sport is yep. still the same. And but we already have the song. And we have the, the song we've had the For longest. The wait, There's nothing the, wait, we've had longer the, than the song. How does the song go? Two, again? three, four. Broomba. 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 A drunk Scotsman went to Canada. Two targets on the end of ice. Two rocks and stones are thrown. And the end and the end indicate the rocks and stones. Oh, uh, <laughs> so this, this is, is the song for the bar yes. that the winning team gets to sing that yes. everybody has to yes. watch with their beers up and they don't get I to drink that. until the song is done. No, yes. you have to honor the song. You honor yeah. the song. Just well, like the Scots would. I yeah. do have one more pitch. Yes. Wait, are you finished with yours though? Well, I think we just encourage we encourage Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. the cosplay theme of it. Yes. Each team is designed Agreed. under one sort of yes. costumed theme. Yes. I now agree. go. Okay, the last thing I'll say, and this comes from the TV side of things. Here we go. I do feel like el- every great television show lately yeah. has a murder in the first episode <laughs> i like where this is going so my pitch and you're picturing you're pitching a curder out. okay i think there should be a curder okay, keep going. and i feel like if if there is and everyone seems shocked but then everyone's tuned in right at that point everybody's like i gotta find out who the who the curder is <laughs> You by the end of the season, you promise there will be a reveal, or it will be left up to interpretation. But you're really hoping to reveal the curve. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's really interesting. I, I, what I, I love it yeah. all. I think that's a. If you can pull off, hold on yeah. before you start yeah. sweeping. There's been a murder. A curder. Yes. A curder. Yeah. So CJ, either one. Maybe maybe we could hear from Jenna for a little bit. The quiet one. Uh, Jenna, where are you at with all these pitches? What are you feeling? We've kind of given you the idea of first changing the name to Broomba. Uh, second, having a theme right. song for after. Uh, third, create a murder mystery. Or fourth, get everybody involved to create team names, costumes, play up the WWE theatrics yeah. of it, mm-hmm. make the shot callers the big characters, who, whoever is there is loud with a mic and is going. Where are you guys at? What are you thinking you're going to do? Well, I got to say, as as entertaining as a lot of these pitches are, I'm not sure if they're going to happen at our nationals, but I would say I think there are a lot of curlers out there who would be on board. <laughs> I, so I, then what you could wait. do is this. So the nationals, so basically we'll <laughs> – the nationals are going to be the same old. They're just curling. But what you guys should do is create when you guys are yeah. going around to local places. So turn it into an event. Let the audience know that you should be drinking on the rink. Let people know that this is very fun. It, fucking there roller is, skating there, got cool for there, a roller there's derby. There's this weird baseball. Have you seen the weird baseball league where they like dress up? Yes, and they dance and do yes. all that shit. Yes. And it like adds an element of like theatrics fun. and kind oh, of fun, fun to it. Yeah. I, I think that's along the lines where we're going. It might uh, not happen theatrics. at nationals. Yes. I also wish you could have seen Jake's face when you said it's probably not going to happen at nationals. <laughs> I mean, he seems, he well, seems bummed. Well, here's my, here's my question, I, CJ. If you're not going to do this, what are you asking for? Are you asking us to bring 5 million people to New Jersey? I think that's what they It's kind of a boring sport well, without it. I will say this. I'm going to pitch you because maybe it just was the song quality. Yeah. By maybe the way, it just, needs to be a different just song. so we know, this is Jillian Bell, and she is the author and the singer of the hit song, Broomba. Yeah, but so. she's got something yeah. new. I've got something new so, in case you don't want that. Hold single? on, but here's, yeah. here's what we're going to do before you start, if okay. you don't mind. Okay, sure. So, CJ, in closing, our advice to you is... Maybe not for January 29th, but you got to bring in theatrics. You need team names. You need villains and you need good guys. And you need to get the crowd involved so that the audience all you hates need a, a heel. Team. You need a heel, and team. whoever is the best that mm-hmm. everybody thinks that team is unbeatable, they should be the villains. Yes. And when they win, they should talk shit. What do you think of Cobra something Kai. like that? I like it. I mean, like Jenna said, it might be a little bit soon to pull off. Okay. Well, this is, look, this is a 10 year plan. That's but, why we do this show. Yeah. It's not yeah. why we do this show. Yeah, Still we're on looking, <laughs> but can you start, I like it. can you start building that idea? And on social media, each team has images, you have costumes and you're talking shit to other teams. I think that's doing the videos. way to do it. I think each team start key and uh, its own social media. You all are kind of under like 
a hashtag like Broomba or yes. something like yeah. that, and you're showing the team practice, talking shit, yes. like the I old WWE but, but days. But here's when how they would we talk here's how we start it. CJ, are you guys on the same team? We are. We are. So here's how we start this. So we get out of the big ideas and we get in the real ideas. What is your guys' team name? Well, it's kind of boring. We're Team McMakin. We're just we're little, Team the McMakin. last name. Oh, so boy. this is what of I'm the saying. Team, in the house. It's Team what? Macon? Their last Make, name. McMakin. So wh- McMakin. What is the vibe of your guys' team? Currently, we just have our regular jerseys, but are you... Like, I'm do you saying think we should take you the ball guys, and be the villain? You guys start on January 29th. You guys are in all black with headbands, wristbands. You guys have music you play. You guys have an entire dance you do at the beginning. You're and avenging the, the curder <laughs> of your former captain. Yes. That's what this season's yes. about. So you guys could be Ooh. like the Night Pirates. Yes. Oh, the Night Pirates. Yes. And you or ga- the Curl Ninjas. <clears throat> or the Curl Ninjas. And you guys come out to okay. certain music. And then when you look at the other team, you put your hand up like you're going to shake. And then go like, no, no, no. Yes. And the other Ooh. team is wearing like t-shirts a and pants. A lot of cutthroat moves. Yes. You're going down. <laughs> yes. Night like Ninjas. That. And then go ahead. I was going to say also they could make it a specific vehicle that's their mascot. Instead of being the black what was it? Ninjas. Ninjas. It could be something like the Honda Civics because so many people have that and they'll want to root for the team that has their car. <laughs> sure. That, that's could, interesting. I right? would say let's stick with the Ninja okay, theme. Okay, great, great, great. <laughs> but uh, Civic is intimidating and I believe yeah. the car of the Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. So uh, I, yeah. They can Ladies go together. and gentlemen, yeah. we're the, the 2004 black. Honda Civic. <laughs> the 2004 U. Like slash backslash uh, black ninjas. Black yeah. ninjas. But and also. And it's very confused, but they tune in because they want to know the mystery. Slash four door. Yeah. Slash four door. Slash 130,000 miles. And Mama Kelly Kelly thinks it Blue could, Book value. Yeah. And it could go up to about 250,000 miles if I continuously do my oil and then change. Regular oil and changes then is people, essential to this. And then people at home could go, I got that car. Yeah, yeah. agreed. I'm so, rooting for that team. So I would say let's go the Ninja route. Okay, you know? great. Start with Ninja <laughs> and then maybe the Honda Civic. Yeah, so CJ. What See do you which guys, one works out. <laughs> what do you guys think of starting it by besides having a big communal conversation? And that is on January 29th, your fucking team comes ready to play, and you guys talk a little bit of shit, and you guys bring heat, and you guys are saying to people in the crowd, "Hey, really nice to meet you," and they're like, "Oh, thanks." And you go, "You want to watch an ass kicking?" Oh, and because you're about to, and they go. I'm just here to get Sapporo pizza, and you go shove it up your ass and watch some curling. Yeah, yeah. And I everybody like goes, "This team is nasty." And then if you lose, they cheer. I like that. Kids. Also, what a great time to network and let people know what you're trying to build up through the sport. So at nationals, you could start telling people, Agreed. "Hey, we're really trying to like yeah. add a little bit more. Like That's we right. love Flavor. curling, we want to respect curling, but we want to add some spice into that, the mix." What, what do you guys think of that? I like it. And it's going to be in a mall, so we can just, we can, you know, go shopping. What a great place to shop for costumes. Hit up that food court. No, but but hold on, guys. You're not buying your costumes day of. No. The (laughs) fuck is going on, CJ? Day before. Day Uh, before. CJ, I'll tell you guys the problem and why this sport isn't popular (laughs) Mm. is you guys aren't committing to it. You're like... Yeah, we we throw the rock and we do a shovel thing. Oh, also, we drink beer after. Who pays? The winners. That's Wait a minute. Wait the a losers minute. Losers pay. Wait, should we commit right here, right now, to to doing a Wrexham situation? Oh wow, are you talking <laughs> about we buy their team and yeah. we build them up? Yeah, we What's buy the... Mick Macon. Hey, what is the value of your team right now? I'll tell you, <laughs> zero. <laughs> we'll take Listen, it. I'll buy it for I a have... quarter pounder with cheese. I have. <laughs> In my wallet. She can't fit her phone I in it. I can't fit my phone in it, but I have, oh, a tiny book that I purchased. You guys, I bought this for three ninety nine. dollars We'll, we'll buy your team for a tiny book. <laughs> hey, you'd be the tiny sponsor at this point. I wish. Amazing. Jake. So we have a tiny book. We have a tiny book. So here's where we're going, CJ. And we're going to get out of here on this. This is incredible that Isn't you have that a tiny great? book. Yeah. I forgot I bought it. It made me happy. It's really nice. So <laughs> it's hard to remember. Will you guys start building your team $4. and create yeah. something now or no? I'm in. I'm for it. Here's your uniforms. You all have to wear We're Here to Help hats. 
Okay. Oh, I like that. And we're here to hit, we're here to help sweat Well, wait now a minute, we're just, wait, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. wait a minute. It's I, not I, off the rails. Right, Jake, it's not the, the foundation. We want to make. I, I agree. Okay, here's what I say. I got excited. The 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 <laughs> post. You get the post for this. You dress up in ninjas. the costume, ninjas. Mm -hmm. Black outfits, ice black ninja. eyeliner, what do you like? whatever. Ninjas I like ice ninjas. It, it, you know, ice ninjas. Either one. I feel like it's up to okay. them. I agree. But there's got to be ice one ninjas. person yes. in the mix that's rocking a Honda Civic. <laughs> don't shirt. agree. That's Fine. a different team. Maybe. Hold on. But that's hold on. Maybe a different team. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> I, I don't think she's wrong here, CJ. One person does need to be wearing a Honda Civic something. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a pin, a hat, and part of socks. The, yeah. So every team should have one shoes, car person. Shoes that look like Honda Civics. <laughs> or the signal caller could always wear the Honda Civic hat. Oh, I yes, love that. Okay. I love that. So that's even better. <laughs> so you're the ice ninjas. Yeah. Are you guys good with the ice ninjas? Yeah, I like it. But I, but it's got to be good that you can win in, you can feel good. Yes. But you guys need to look like bad guys. Yes. Yeah, you got to be ready. Okay. So if you guys do this, if you create a page and you take photos, uh, we officially sponsor you, stand behind you. Yes. If we you will guys, promote you. We will we'll promote, promote your all your matches. And send us footage of you curling in your Ice Ninja outfits or whatever you decide on. Yes. That's just a launching off. Is, that, just, a, is just, that a deal? Just to be clear, okay. you guys are obviously still called McMakin, so it's McMakin's Ice Ninjas. Agreed. Sure. With uh, a Honda Civic okay. theme yes. thrown in. It's getting, uh, it's getting wordy, but I, yes, <laughs> it can work. So CJ, is this something that's going to happen? Can we count on you? 100%. All right, and we're going to take you out with the follow-up to the debut hit single, Broomba, Jillian Bell, with her new song. What's it called? Uh, it's Well, it's just called it's untitled I for Have now. the Tiger Take Two. I Have the Tiger Take Two. <laughs> CJ, we thank you for calling. Keep us posted. Yes. Jillian, we go to you. Dump, 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 dump. Thanks, guys. Dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. Nationals. Coming up real soon, January 29th, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is Drunk Scott's man. He was in, went to Canada. Two targets on the ends of ice. Dun, dun, dun. Two rocks slash stones are thrown. <laughs> End of an end indicates rocks slash stones. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Amount of rocks. <laughs> Closest get up point. Sweeper slash throwers, those are players. Dun, dun, dun. They rotate, but no one's the beep. Is there a chorus? Quarterback <laughs> is the shot caller. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Last lyric, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce stacking. Uh, it ends with an alcohol party. The winners are the real losers for paying. It's the... Game that's coming, <laughs> it's gonna be at the mall. <laughs> they changed it recently to Broomba. Bam, bam, bam. Fuck pickleballs and that game called Bags. It's the greatest dun, 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 game dun, 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 in the dun, world. world. National. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, you guys. Good I luck out there, long. Ice Ninjas. It was great. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Bye, ladies. Uh, they just, should play just that. Just two oh, women at the end going, Thank you. Uh, Jake, we're brought to you by Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace, uh, unbelievable. Great place. Squarespace uh, helps you highlight uh, or helps you build your website. Is everything Sorry. okay, Gil? Yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh, I saw, I, I I never wanted to read the comments on uh, anything I was working on, and I read a couple comments <laughs> online, and um. Well, it got told Gilly Bean. I, uh, What'd they say? Are you talking about on our Apple podcast? Yeah. A couple of people asked if- uh, So we've gotten some, I just want to say for- well, We don't need to dig into I, it. I'm a professional. I'm, I'm made of- Gilly, I'm, I'm, do you mind if I'm I, Teflon and Bullet. So we've Go gotten, ahead. a lot of you, we appreciate you guys rating the show and you know liking it and all a lot, that. A lot of support for Gilly Bean at times too. Uh, there was a lot of support at first, and lately, a couple people, and I would say honestly, two people total. Yeah, well, they two they, total. They, they should. They both rot said in hell. They Sorry, love the show. They French. appreciate I know in the middle it. Of an ad. Gil's a bit much. He's ick. Yeah, some people called me ick, and uh, when I googled it, it said the opposite of riz. And when I googled <laughs> that, I let's just say I went down a wormhole. But I'm a professional, 
And a lot of you love me, and I. Well, I'll tell I you this. You I love you. I love you, Jake. Uh, Kevin you have been unbelievable. Kevin loves me too. I know. Uh, Caitlin, our social media is mixed. Yeah, no, I understand. She's she's not been supportive when I met her in person. But well, uh, and and in her defense, it was your behavior. Well, I just I, I when I ask for credentials, what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure nobody who doesn't deserve to be around us is around us. Right. And you we understand? Were, yeah, anyhow, so you want to Anyway, we're, we're in the middle of a Squarespace. I th- eight, by the way, yeah. you picked me up when I was down. Good. We are back, everybody. Squarespace, unbelievable. God, we're so lucky to work with them. I love them. You love them. Squarespace, you know what it is. Squarespace is a li- Squarespace, listen, it's a place where you can go and not only build a website, but you can do a lot more, more than ever. What are you talking about, Gil? What do you mean? Well, how about this? How about you customize some merch? It's easy to sell customers. Custom merch and create passive income streams that engages your audience and scales your brand. You can design your products and your production and your inventory and shipping and hand and ship and shipping are handled for you. That's saving you time and money. Time you need because sometimes you scroll through the comments and you're seeing the naysayers and you're saying, you're not going to bring me down. Online store. Sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. And let's talk about flexible website templates because they got them. Get started with one of our professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. Then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do what you want. That's right. If you wanted to get your shoes, give it a shot. So one of the complaints was there was a lot of yelling. Yeah, I understand that. I get a little fired up. Listen, listen. All I'm telling you, all I'm telling you is head to www.squarespace.com slash Gil sent me. Gil, that's right, your friend. I don't care what you say about me. You can't you can't ding me. There's only two people, Gilly. www.squarespace.com. I'll find them. Sorry, that's not the slash. www.squarespace.com <laughs> slash Gil sent me to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain using the code Gil sent me. Gil sent me. That's right. You're not going to bring me down, you two people. Can I make a comment? Go ahead. Are you getting emotional too? Yeah. I love the show. It's a lot of fun. My favorite part is Gil Buchanan. To those of you who've said things like that, I can't tell you how it's strengthened me, and it's brought Alice and I closer together. God bless you. Is that what she says, too? Stop asking questions. Hey, everyone. This is producer Kevin just jumping in to say our second call is a follow-up from episode 45 a couple weeks ago with Mary Holland, and it's called Skidmark with Mary Holland. And, uh, yeah, we have a follow-up with uh, one of the callers there. And if you'd like a quick refresher, you can check out Skidmark with Mary Holland. All right, back to Jake and Gareth. Hello. Hello. We don't give enough credit to Kevin's first hellos. They really are. (laughs) They lay the foundation. Agreed. They're never in the episode too. (laughs) I know. And it's just to peel back the curtain. Let's have it in. Yeah, let's keep it in. All right. So people see how the machine so, works. So we know that this is a follow-up, but we don't know anything else. So caller, the floor is yours, and Gareth and I are confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is Layla. Follow-up on Skidmark. Hey, Layla! <laughs> oh, whoa, wait. Skidmark's Mary Holland. Yes. You're going to try to train him to wipe his butt. We ha- <laughs> Well, Jake, welcome. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Right, Layla? Layla, yes, what's okay. happening? The floor is yours. Uh, it's not a great update. So uh, we met up to talk about it, and I was, I was soft pitching. Hey, maybe we go through this course and we get you together. And he was completely turned off by it. He felt like I was judging him for making, quote, unquote, one mistake. What? And he didn't understand. Yeah, he didn't understand why I couldn't let it go. Because he's his <laughs> dirty butt it. ruined your <laughs> sheets. He's you got, out of control. You got to love a You got to love men. Can we just for a minute <laughs> talk right. about? I, listen, oh. I, I get I get why he's you would be displeased control. with the behavior of this man. <laughs> but can we just for a minute on a base level? Yeah. <laughs> So have a moment of y- your dirty butt ruined my sheets. What nerve do you have? That was one I, mistake. Where do you get off? So Layla, why for, don't you get brown sheets? Yeah. So Layla, you brought it up as kindly as you can. First of all, you gave him a chance he did not deserve, and he had the audacity uh, to not like that you were bringing it up. Then what happened? 
So we we just kind of agree to disagree on that. Agreed. And, I agree with you, know. you and yeah. I disagree with him. And so does everybody in the yeah, fucking honestly. planet Earth. Yeah. Everyone on planet Earth agrees with you, besides like <laughs> nine guys with dirty asses. Who are like, well, leave me be. <laughs> oh, I had a dirty ass one time. We're the street, we're people too. <laughs> yes. And then, so what happened? You just said, uh, that'll do it? Yeah, we split up and come to find out he has like a girlfriend now. Oh, so good, good luck to her. Good. It's a man's world. He's, he's uh, the, ruining her sheets. The idea that this guy's jumped into another <laughs> he's a, thing. And, and she's going like this. Oh, Layla was such a bitch. All you did was take a dump, sit on my sheets and leave skid marks. Good like it's Lord. a big deal. Whatever. <laughs> oh, we're living in a nightmare of this earth. It's so, called a mail trail. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. So. Yeah. And so then, <laughs> so you've moved on from him. Is that the end of the update? Anything else? Yeah, I just kind of moved on. And I'm just, I'm going back to being single. This is the Good. first person I've talked to in years. Yeah. And it's just making me go back into retirement. Hold on, really. hold on, hold on. Don't retire. No way, Layla. <laughs> He's the wrong guy. Yeah. He's not for you. The kindness of you. Yes. And I'll, you know, as a call I'll never forget. When we were hearing about him shitting on your sheets, yeah. sheets you loved, yeah, sheets that I think you said were 160 bucks. Is that right? Just about. Wow. Just about. It's you. Yeah. Then my thought was cut him loose. Yes. Your thought was was he didn't have a good enough childhood. Let's rehab. Him. He was not. He was raised by wolves. Yeah. I could help him. So you're <laughs> going to find a guy who yeah. is way closer. Look. To a human. There are good guys who aren't crapping beds. Yes, there are good guys who wipe their butts. There are a lot of us who are out there and understand. I would say 95% of adult men I'd have clean butts. I'd go even higher. 98? Well, I don't know about clean, but I would <laughs> yeah. say non-staining. Yeah, yeah. I would say 97% of men, Yeah. 98% of men, yeah. will not, if they sit down bare butt on your sheet, won't stain it. Listen, we know what we know what we're doing in there. You, it's over. Not you him. make sure it's done, yes. and then you get back to pants and time. And also, we had gotten so many comments about uh, a bidet. Yes. So have you ever considered oh, getting God. a... You can get it on Amazon. I think you can get them for 150 bucks now. But a bidet in your toilet for the next guy who gets there? Or get a tushy. They sponsor podcasts. What's a tushy? A tushy is like you put it on your toilet. It's a very simple, easy way to toilet make a bidet. It basically, oh, yeah. yeah. So you basically have your little dial there, and you fuck a bidet. And but also, sure Layla, happen. this isn't your problem; it's his. Yeah. No, you're look. You're not. So you're not staining sheets. Uh. So we appreciate the update. I'm personally happy you are not with this guy. I am too. Uh, this is what Thank I would you. call. <laughs> this is the this is the skid arc. We've gone from the beginning <laughs> to the end, and this we is have. The end. Hold on. This is the end. Oh, hold on. And we've got our skid mark arc. And I think, Layla, Jake loves what I'm doing right now. Just, I'm pretty good at reading. He him. just left a skid mark on our show. It's, it, I did not. I wiped. Um, Layla, good luck. You yes. will find, do not go Don't to give retirement. Up. Don't give up. Just, you have a high bar where you expect someone to not poop where you yeah. sleep. And Don't that's give fine. Up. Don't give up. And thank you for the call. We're so happy he's out of the picture. Yeah. You're the winner. He's the loser. End yeah. of story. This next woman. Yes. She's going to have to seriously go through that. Thank you, guys. I really needed that pep talk. Yeah, right. you're, you get back in the game. You're a winner. This guy's such a dud. He so, literally shit on your sheets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank bye, you, guys. Bye, bye, Thanks, Layla. Layla. Bye. Biz, 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 biz. That was a HeadGum Podcast.